In life, we take a lot of things for granted. Think about all of the items in your kitchen that you don't give second thought to because they're always there. Refrigerators, can openers, dishwashers, and stoves are all things that you probably brought right here in town. But were they made in town? Probably not. There was a time though when Maytag stoves were made right here in Kokomo, all thanks to the Globe America Corporation. In 1872, William Fisher came to Kokomo and started Fisher Steel Ranges. In 1898, T.C. McReynolds formed the Globe Steel Range Company in Kokomo and bought Fisher's assets. In 1902, the name of the company changed to Globe Stove and Range Company. By 1912, the company was offering 18 different ranges and six different base burners. The stoves sold for between four and $95. During World War I, the company produced trench mortar shells. By the end of the war, stove sales were on the decline and creditors of the company demanded a liquidation of assets. The directors of the company, seeing no way out of their financial straits, deemed it necessary to go out of business. A group of businessmen, however, invested more capital and hired a new manager, Mark Brown. The company soon re-established itself and paid off its debts. In 1930, the company merged with the American Steel Products Company and reincorporated under the name of Globe American Corporation with the main office in Kokomo. Unfortunately, the company once again faced liquidation due to losses during the Great Depression. However, the company was developing a new type of gas range called the Dutch oven. This new oven saw the previous cast iron equipment replaced with modern sheet metal. Between 1938 and 1942, gas and electric ranges were manufactured and marketed as Dutch ovens. More than 200,000 were produced by 1945. The company was prospering when, once again, war broke out. During World War II, Globe America's vice president, Alden Chester, had the thought that steel lifeboats would be made on an assembly line, just like their stoves were. He had a naval architect draw up blueprints and they were adopted by the Maritime Commission as standard equipment for Liberty ships. This is the first time there was a standardized U.S. lifeboat. The Globe American lifeboats, nicknamed the Kokomo Kid, were made with one and a half tons of sheet steel and tested in the old quarry on West Markland Avenue. The company contracted out 504 boats but kept the manufacturing of 744 in Kokomo. Each Liberty ship was equipped with four 31-passenger Globe American lifeboats, one of which was equipped with a motor. All of them had oars, red sails, water, food signaling, and first aid equipment. With the end of the war, there was no longer a need for the Kokomo Kid. In 1945, Globe began manufacturing stoves exclusively for Maytag. In 1957, Globe sold their stove factory, which was located at 101 East Broadway. They retained their operations at 100 East North Street, and they continued to manufacture farming equipment in the Macomb, Illinois. But later in 1957, Globe closed all research and production in Kokomo. Dutch ovens were used all over the United States and the Kokomo Kid traveled the world. So if you didn't know about them or the Globe American Corporation that once called Kokomo home, now you know.